The Kilauea volcano eruption has filled in Hawaii's biggest lake in hours, and it is now reshaping the coastline. These are images from USGS and EPA. Hawaii's Kilauea volcano, which started erupting over a month ago, May 3rd, continues to reshape the Big Island. It's an une unceasing flow of lava, and from what the USGS scientists are saying, the activity will become more violent, that's what they're predicting, and also that it will be ongoing for the next couple of weeks at least. The uh, authorities are also talking about doing something to stop the lava flow even bombing areas of the volcano in order to disrupt the lava, creating pockets like uh, craters in order to have the lava flow into them, drying up somehow, cooling down and creating pockets, trying to stop the lava from flowing every which way on the island. Of course, that has never been done before. And we don't know what the input from the residents will be. All these people that um, have farms and homes there. Now what's happened now is that the unceasing flow of lava in the Eastern Rift Zone that has destroyed hundreds of structures and homes has erased the island's largest lake. Flows of lava went all the way down to the Pacific Ocean where they are currently filling in Kapoho Bay and they're remaking the coastline, as we see from the images here. Meanwhile, at the volcano, inland in Hawaii's Volcanoes National Park, earthquake activity has been intensifying in recent days. This includes the 5.5 magnitude tremor on Monday and the 5.6 magnitude early on Tuesday. Hawaii County Civil Defense Authority reports there is no threat of a tsunami from these earthquakes from Tuesday morning, but the roads and the buildings in the National Park have been damaged by the quakes. Now, as for the lava flow from the beginning, it's been flowing directly into the ocean at Kapoho Bay, and in recent days it has been up to half a mile wide. And that we can see from the video I'll show you at the end of this, it's a clip from the USGS. Here we go. When lava contacts salt water, it produces a toxic acid steam called lays. Lays is lava haze, which is very dangerous because this is laced with tiny glass particles. In the video, in video one, the helicopter overfly flies uh, Kilauea's volcano, lower East Rift Zone. That was on June 4th, around 6.15 in the morning. It shows lava from the fissure 8 entering the ocean at Kapoho Bay. The ocean entry is about a half a mile wide, and the flow sends a large lace plume into the air along the coastline. In video two, the helicopter overflies around Six hours later, 1.38 uh, p.m., showing how the lava is filling in the shallow bay. Now, as the lava flowed downwards into the bay over the weekend, it contacted Green Lake. Green Lake is the largest body of water on the island and quickly filled it in. In five hours, local authorities reported that all the water in the lake had evaporated by the relentless heat of the lava. So Green Lake, the largest body of water on the island, is no longer there. It has been filled with lava, becoming new land. This was the uh, June 3rd USGS tweet saying Kilauea message Saturday 2nd June 2018. Flow continues advancing into Kapoho Crater and through Kapoho Beach lots, and at 10 a.m., lava entered Green Lake. By 3 p.m., HCFD confirmed that lake filled and water evaporated. Wide flow front is moving towards the ocean. Now, as we said, it's been over a month 
since the magma has been uh, running from a, a number of fissures in the eastern rift zone. And uh, the centered on the Leilani estate subdivision in Puna, which is of course now destroyed partially. By counts, the total number of structures destroyed by the lava is quickly approaching 300 mark. As of Monday, USGS reported 7.7 .7 square miles of the island have been covered with lava since the eruption began over a month ago.